Yes, guys, we are finally back again for the second reaction video on this year. BRBP TV channel. Be real, be positive, television brothers and sisters. Definitely look out for the previous one that I did earlier on today. Of course, I'll be in the first comment in the comment box below, as well as the Mr. Licks reacts video I did today on the Mr. Licks reaction channel. Guys, definitely check it out right there and there. This one, of course, is about Thriller. Thriller G, I say Thriller. Thriller G, brothers and sisters. The three in one, I'm guessing. The three in one G. Thriller G. The three G's in one, I don't know. Brothers and sisters, anyways, this is true and what his sentiment has to be and what is going on right here. A number of persons say, Miss Licks, you need to react to that. And of course, let us get into the vibrations right now. Trilla, what are you saying? Oh, you see Trilla, wrap up his ear. I do my own dream, you know, guys, be viral. <laughs> I guess you're waiting for him to come in. But you can start to share the live. You can start to share the live. Share the live. Share the live. And I will um I will say what I have to say in a few. Thumbs up. As a matter of fact, not thumbs up. Dominica flag. Put the Dominica flag in the corner. Everybody, look at it. <laughs> Everybody check in, check in, check in. Check in. The Dominica flag I want to see. It's up to tree. That is what matters to me, the country. Me too. That's what that matters to me. That's what matters to us. Who actually concerned about the country? So I guess I can start. Yeah. What shall happen over the weekend, and I'll be very honest. I wasn't prepared for that. I didn't see it coming. I didn't expect it. For those of you who maybe haven't been on social media. But probably don't understand why I say what I say no, why I'm doing a live and everything. Let me first start by saying that on Thursday evening, I made a post on Facebook. And if oh, you remember the post, I think I posted it as well. And he said that we need to take the, we need to take back the country, something like that. Correctly, it was a simple post. Where I said, honestly, it's time to take back our country. Yeah, I was right. <laughs> and I was upon making that eyes. post, I saw the immediate reactions. whirlwind of comments, shares, reactions from a lot of people, particularly the youth, people just like me that live in the country. And a lot of who feel the same way as me. And honestly, like I said, I wasn't prepared for that. I just make a post. Because you know me. It's one thing about trilogy. <laughs> he wouldn't speak his mind. Yeah, well, speak your you mind. I'm going to give my opinion. Of course, it I'm a very opinionated person. I've always been that way. From since before I... Born. I started singing. When I start singing and then... Even if, and I would first like to say that I stand wholeheartedly yeah, by my post. Me too. I stand wholeheartedly by my post. Me too, sir. We need to take back Dominica. We need to take back our country. However, however, I would like to state something that is very important. And before I even continue, I just want to say big up everybody on the live one time that commenting because I choose to speak, but I think that is love for the country. That is love for the country that just being, that just, I just getting to be a part of. You understand? That's why I tell you something beautiful is happening right now. And I'm just happy to be a part of it. You understand? No. back to what I was saying. I make my post and I stand wholeheartedly by my post. However, I do not want, and I repeat, I do not want my messaging. I'm sure, he, hopefully he doesn't say anything. It's, it's about politics, political. I hope he doesn't say that. To be misconstrued. Okay. Because mm. I make the post and I said what I said and I meant what I said. However, I am seeing that there is, there, there, as with anything in life, 
people going to interpret it so why don't you break it down for us what do you, what do you mean by that why don't you really break it down for us and exactly what you mean take back dominica how why when where to where where are we going take back dominica where to the 1970s to the 1980s to 1995 what where exactly are we talking about you should break that down for us hopefully it does in whatever way they choose to do that and that's totally fine i was i was really in awe of the massive outpouring of here of some sort of victimization or some sort of you know negativity attached to it or whatnot um, I cannot react because they f they in fear oh, of some sort of optimization yeah. or some a number of persons have met me and say Mr. Lix, what are you saying is true. I tell you comment, you you share, you see they share within their sphere. <laughs> They're afraid to share it publicly because they don't want to be victimized, you know? So I say in these things, you don't think I'll be victimized? Huh? You don't think they can target me and victimize me? But they have to be smart because there's a lot of number of persons behind me. So I would not urge anybody to try to victimize me eh? because you know things can think can things can turn sour. A <laughs> sort of you know negativity attached to it or whatnot. Um but you have to be very careful because <clears throat> there are people who might view my statement in a certain light so i see some people say take it back from who let me tell you something then i don't have i don't have to answer the question when i make my post i will not tell you exactly what i meant please that's what we're waiting for when i make the post mm -hmm. i wasn't talking about taking back the country from a particular person mm -hmm. or any particular group mm -hmm. right let me explain something to all of you. Go ahead. I don't know how many of all of us travel. When you travel and you go to a country that just next to us, mm. God, a country in the God. same OECS and them kind of a thing. Yeah. When you go to these countries, you see a totally different vibes. You Mira. get a totally different energy. Ask for Grenada. Brother! Ah, it's a different vibe. It's a different vibe. It's like you know, and they tell you about. I don't know if it's because they probably consider you somebody who's not in on island or something. But every time we go there, brothers and sisters, um, this is also my country as well. Every time we go there, um, it's like the people they they want to help you. They want to they begin you up. They they friendly. They cool if you want. If you have something, they give you ideas and all these kind of things. You try that in Dominica, if it looks like you're going to elevate above them, they will not tell you. That's the sentiment that I got in Dominica. I ain't going to lie. But, but that's exactly the sentiment that I get. So it's kind of, you know, and you've seen the people and... Anyways. You check what he's saying. Everywhere out there, day for years, we'll always hear that. But the, 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 the industries that they have... If it's one or two, they know they have to focus on and make it happen. Like you've seen those people progressive. You understand? And Same that means. is what my status, my post was about, my brother. My post was not about taking back the country from a particular group or a particular person, whoever you feel. My post was to advocate, to get people to, to, to come together, my brother. You check kind of like what happened in north so why didn't you say something like we need to we need to start getting back together people why didn't you say something like that because on the understanding of we need to take back our country the question must be asked from who because if you're taking back something that means somebody took it from you or it went somewhere so if you're talking about taking it back I would most likely think it have to be from somebody and if you know the country is not going doing well then obviously wouldn't that be an indication of someone causing the country to not do well i think on the basis of even that the thought process came to mind brothers and sisters that yes the people are definitely the ones who need to take 
the country back from themselves. <laughs> that that's 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 a, a good point right there. But he didn't mention taking it back from the people who allow themselves to be victimized by the very people who they put in position to do things for themselves. And I most likely think it makes sense to when people ask from who, you should then say from the people who are keeping the country down. And if you're trying to be politically correct, which I, I realize you're trying to do there, then you should just say that very same statement from the people who are trying to keep the country down. Who are the people? That's up to the people to decide. But anyways, let's continue. Oh. To tell each other, like, boy, we need to stop depending on people to do things for us, boy. I agree. But the problem is when you put people in positions to do things for you, there's a difference. So what is the point of putting people in positions to do things for you and they're not doing it? And you telling me that I supposed to do what they so what we put them there to do it makes make it make sense we put them in positions to do things for us they're doing things for themselves and they're not doing it i've heard an individual making a statement and he says he's happy that certain individuals are taking on the responsibility of doing things that the ministers that they put in positions need to do so why on earth are we paying them for ask yourself that question you check Many a times we come in on Facebook and we crying about whoever that in charge are not doing this or they're not being done. They, as they need to do because that's what they pay them to do. And if they're not doing it, then they come in and bribe people with all sorts of things. All sorts of things they're trying to bribe people with. Except doing the work. Brothers and sisters, the amount of money that people have to push out to bribe people when they can take the same money that they're trying to bribe people with to do thi do the things that they're supposed to do but the question here is why why is that happening brothers and sisters they made a budget for agriculture 15 million dollars they use one point something million dollars from that why brothers and sisters could we set up factories could we put certain things in positions i remember the prime minister making it seem so nice and dandy and i remember i said i'll keep him on that I stated that in my reactions when the Prime Minister said that we're going to look into agriculture and they will go out there to find the markets. It's their responsibility for them to go and find the markets. Not to know, no markets have been formed, it seems. However, we are importing all sorts of, sorts of things in Dominica and the other countries that are less fortunate in the agricultural business are doing it. St. Vincent, Antigua is even importing our plantains, they told me. They're importing all plantains for them to make their own chips to sell it where? New Zealand, Sweden, wherever they want to sell it, brothers and sisters. And you think that is good? So we're supposed to just forget the people that we put in positions to do things for us and do it ourselves? <laughs> or done or this. And we can do it for ourselves, bro. We can do it for ourselves. You understand? No, don't get me wrong. Some of those people, some of those people have a part to play in mobilizing us giving us the you check giving us the push giving us the strength you check why i, I agree no that that sentiment i agree with on the basis of the minister saying okay we need to build bridges or whatnot i can then allocate money for the people to do it but they're not doing that therefore the people have to go in their own money which they're not getting much money from to go and make bridge to go and, go and pave road and to block plant and all those kind of things there eh? that's an example eh? so they need to mobilize the people, but they also need to provide the resources. This is why I'm a classic liberal person. I'm not liberal, you know. Bond that! <laughs> I'm a classic liberal. Well, we, we, our, our political understanding is where the government sees the resources, brings it for us, and we the people with different ideas and whatnot can utilize this to then expand it. As a result of expanding, the country gets money, the people get money directly to them. This is one of the reasons why the factories will work well in Dominica. Because then you'll have the, the hawksters who will be sending stuff overseas. You'll have the, the factories creating um, 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 the, the different medicines and juices and this kind of things. They're products that, they, that can export and also be sold in the markets as well. And Dominica has a... I don't understand what is happening in Dominica. Anyway, That's their job. That's what they have to do. They have to create the opportunities. They do. My brother. No but So for 20 something years, all you see is not being created. Well, do something about it now. Remove them. Not the people are supposed to remove them. And when they provide the resources, the people who in the right positions provide the resources for the people, 
then the people can run with it. But if they're not doing that, it is the people that are in positions that need to be blamed. And it's only the people who are allowing themselves to be bamboozled. Peter has to be paying for Paul, who keep voting for these very people because these people are then giving them monies or different things to for them to stay quiet and, you know. My brother, listen to me. Part of the problem, part of the problem in a country of things not happening is, the people. is some of it have to do with whatever administration that might be there at the time. Don't say whatever administration. You say there are no hobin. You say there are no hobin. What, what are you trying to do? Thriller, come. And I understand the music industry and you have to be politically correct. But you you just tell us you are no hobin. You are, you are no hobin. <laughs> But plenty of it have to do with us, boy. True. Real thing I telling you, plenty of it have to do with us and our mentality. Because we put back the very same people in positions to do things for us and they're not doing it and we're still putting them back. Hoping for something else to happen. That is insanity, brothers and sisters. And yes, it has been something where we have been continuously manipulated to believe like we have That's to true. be dependent. Yep. It's not, 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 not just in the mind, but the economy as well. The economy... So they're making you dependent and they have done this so much, so long. Remember, humans are creatures of repetition. If you don't accept something today, if it's constantly bombarded to you, brothers and sisters, eventually you will start to accept it. And if it's constantly going against no um, oppression or no, 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 no obstacle, brothers and sisters, sooner or later you might end up advocating for that very thing that you once stood against. I remember the president of the United States, Barack Obama. Barack Obama was one of the individuals who believed that one man and one woman should be married. At the ending of his campaign, brothers and sisters, when he came for the second time, he was the one who ushered in, you know, the interesting lifestyle. So, you know, sooner or later when it's complete, boom, being bombarded, 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 bombarded. If you don't have a strong mind, you will always fall and a man that doesn't have a strong mind brothers and sisters what is a man without a strong mind huh? what this is why they create weak men weak men create weak societies weak societies create hardship but then you know the cycle always continues hardship create strong men it's an interesting way of looking at how life is but why do we have to constantly and my mind just going, oh boy, boy, hey, that mind of mine, eh? That mind of mine, that mind of mine going back all the way back to when black people used to rule this world. Most people don't know this. Well, is they that still running it, but you know, under these guys of anyways, when when the intelligence, brothers and sisters, when the angels taught them. Anyways, let me that's not the let me continue. But listen to me. See how we be there now on that live now. Are we together now? See how we be there together on that life. If we are just carry out that same level of unity from day to day and come together and pull our resources and make things happen in the country, my brother. Huh? If we just change our mentality, boy. But not easy to just change mentality like that. This is why you need good leaders. Brothers and sisters, it's innate, innate, innate with us, brothers and sisters, to always look for something where we can find some sort of some sort of solace. Just like human beings were created to worship. We either worship money, we either worship God, we worship something. That is innate in human beings, brothers and sisters. And therefore, it is always something that we search for. A leader that can actually help us. And when these leaders are giving us little dregs here and there, and we figure, hey, what can I do now? It's innate in us, brothers and sisters, to always look for some sort of leaders. And therefore, if the leaders are not doing the jobs, brothers and sisters, what do you, what do you think is going to happen? I mean, look all throughout history. All throughout history, brothers and sisters, even me, I used to do this before. Sometimes I used to make and manipulate, not really manipulate, but I used to take certain things to make things for people. And then I would challenge people under what I'm, I'm saying for them to do the research. And when I realized people wasn't doing research and just accepting whatever I stated. That's when I started doing that. And I told the people what I was saying is not accurate. You need to go out there and do research. Or you just agree with whatever I say. Go out there and do your research. The reason why I studied the guys because when I noticed the media shifting, 
and the media shifted just at the end of you um, obama them the media started shifting brothers and sisters into a gender base when it started shifting to a gender base brothers and sisters a number of things that it was spew were not correct at all but anyways that's not the point <laughs> <laughs> that is not the point, brothers and sisters. Stop thinking of our, stop thinking of ourselves, and let's come together. I agree with that. That sentence. is what I mean, boy. When I say we have to come back and take back our country, we still didn't clarify taking back from who. That's something you want to happen. Maybe a direction you want to go, but to take it back is a totally different thing that you're saying, sir. You must take it back from something or someone. So who? Do you take it back from? That is a legitimate question. You say you 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 don't have no face, but apparently you playing politically correct. You being politically correct right now. Back in the days, bro, I just talk to my elders. I just listen to what they have to say. Me too. Back in the days, bro, we had a greater sense of nationalism, Purpose. pride for country. It had more groups. Mm -hmm. But I doesn't hear about. I doesn't hear about. Cadet core and them thing again. Yep. Scouts and them kind of. I remember back in the day when we heard about this, these groups, these groups of prestigious groups, man. Prestigious groups. So to be in cadet core, you know, somebody in cadet, man. You know? When I was in primary school, I remember I used to hear this, you know. I didn't want to join it, you know, but <laughs> I just heard, you know, people were in these things and, you know, it was a good, it's a good thing to be a part of. But we don't hear that now. When you hear people carry it, it's like, okay. Even the police. When you hear people in police, it's like, okay. Well, girls, girls, just still like this police and so because this police have benefits and so. But anyway, that <laughs> the thing. Back in the day, my brother, how much different communities had their, their, their little groups and they used to come together and do their little. Sports. I used to be a part of them thing, bro. Yep. It do all that again. It's like we lose all. We lose all hope. And it's like we're just accepting all what that come to us. It's a culture. It's a new culture. Like I told you, repeti repetition. Just like when people say, oh, unless you give me money for my vote, I don't vote in. What you used to hear back in the day, you know, it became a culture. That's what happens. Human beings are creatures of repetition. And those who are unaware of what is going on. <laughs> you understand me? Yeah. man. It have a man... That one man, um, the, he was a president. I think that's the one they had assassinated when they shoot him in his head while he was driving. His name not coming Kennedy. to me right now. But the man say, the man say, ask not what no, your country Martin Luther can King. do for you, but what you can do for your country. I think that is Martin You understand? King. What you can for me, do that's for what your country. About, but Martin Luther King wasn't a president. Unless he's probably right, I don't know. But that sounds like something Martin Luther King would say. Ask not what your country can do for you. Pay what you can do for yourself. Maybe he's right. Maybe he's right. I don't know. For some reason, I just thought of Martin Luther King. But anyway, it's probably John F. Kennedy you're talking about. Boss man. It have portals all in the road to go down Newton. People passing every day on the portals and their transport mashing up, their transport finishing. And they do see nothing. Is I telling you? But sometimes the very people who are in charge of these portals seeing it, you know, they seen it. But they're not doing nothing. They're waiting for somebody to come and tell them. These people need to be fired. If I prime this. And they will say, <laughs> they will say, so and so not fixing the road, man, for your transport that mashing up. Yep. You? So if they're not doing it, it's not to put pressure on them to do it. Or just do it then. So people coming up from Grand Bay, people coming up from Yes, it's JFK. So he was right. Lube, La La Poet, all kind of a place. Passing on the on the um on the thing and they are transport mashing up, you know. But it's because so talk. and so not doing it. Yeah, talk. That is my issue. Then you should say who need to do it. If you don't have no Kobe and you don't afraid nobody, you should say, hey, the minister in charge of lands, not lands, but the road and construction and this kind of things there, need to fix it. That is my issue. You understand? So, my term, um, John F. Kennedy, yes, so I can forget that now. I apologize. But anyway, share the life, you know, share the life. All who will see, they will. 
So Mori say, but Trilla, what are we paying taxes for? Good question. To come back to the same thing, you know. If we had that same level of pride and nationalism and love for country, right? If we had that same level of pride and nationalism and love for country, we would not be there for 23 years under the same regime. Okay, now you're talking. Okay, you get in there. Hopefully, you reach. <laughs> that is it, you know. That is it, you know. I agree with that point. But, but I suspect he knows that people know what he's trying to say, but he's not really going to say it. You know, I guess. Uh, but still, my brother, you have to tell it like it is. You have to tell it like it is. Well, you have to get back a love for all your country, my brother. And stop saying how much people have to do things, do things, do things for all your boy. You check? Boy, nobody have to do nothing for us, boy. And all... Yeah, that is not the case at all. You put people to do things for you. If they're not doing it, they need to take them out. So yes, they have an obligation to do things for you. You're not supposed to do it. Why are you putting them in positions for in the first place? No, so. All no, so. You see what's going to happen here now? You see what's going to happen here now? All who want to come on board, they can come on board. We going to start to do things for ourselves or our way. I understand what you're saying. But the ministers, them need to start doing what they are paid to do. They don't... And if you see the people, the powers that be, don't want to help us or come on board, then... That... Don't want to help us? No, we have to help them. Not they have to help us. No! <laughs> we have to help them. That's it. My brother, that's not nothing about I nothing, no partisan kind of a thing. Then say that clearly. I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem with people. You don't have a problem with the present party that day? People, but I not... Why are you us? saying people? <laughs> say the present party. <laughs> Unless you do have a problem with them. Associate me with nobody, boy. You check? Because it's the same type of people I would say. I seen people on Facebook, you know, talking about... Oh, he on Facebook talking or they on Facebook talking, but when it's Wednesday, you're not seeing them. True, that's true. Because what you're saying there makes sense. On the basis of going to work is a little action to show the people, hey, what's going on? But, you know, I guess everybody working, man. You're not seeing them um, walking in the streets. But what are they going to do, boy? What are they going to do? Imagine a thousand people walking. Imagine five thousand people walking. Imagine 10,000 people walking. What do you think they're going to do? Imagine that. What walking on the road going and do? That going and do nothing to help. It makes the awareness known. And I understand the few people you've seen walking. It wouldn't do much. But imagine if thousands of people were walking. Just imagine that. The power of just walking. Thousands of people walking. Just imagine that. What it can do? You'd be surprised. Us, the youth boy, and our issues we facing, boy. You see what happened in France the other day? Where millions of people were on the streets? You see what happened the other day? That created... Ah, huh? Always there about the electoral reform and them kind of a thing there. Boy, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Don't, don't mix me in that, boy. I remember the electoral reform is needed to have free and fair elections. We understand what is taking place. What is taking place is a clear violation of how the people should have free and fair elections. And as a result, free and fair elections is exactly what you're trying to push here, my brother. Why? Because you realize that the people in positions are not doing things what they're supposed to do, which is why you made the statement of them coming in, um, the people taking it on their, their, their own selves for them to do what the people who you put in positions should be, should be doing. If they're not doing this, it needs to change. For it to change, it must reflect the pure will of the people. To reflect the pure will of the people, you need to have proper electoral reform, which will include voter ID cards. And if fingerprints has to be done, let it be done. So I mean, don't mix you in that. It's like you, when, when uh, there was a particular individual that really wanted to hear my views, because the individual told me that it seems like you're going back and forth. You flip flopping. And I can see that. Yes. Electoral reform is needed for the very thing that you are talking about. It's not might. It's not don't mix you in it. It is needed to be done. Or they will constantly be cheating, bribery and treating and all these things. 
You want to pretend as if these things are not going on? I don't think that. I don't think that boy progress. I want to hear. With How are you going to get progress? How on earth are you going to get progress when the people in position are the ones responsible who have the resources to then push to the people who are not giving it to the people? I mentioned fifteen million dollars was set aside for agriculture for Dominica. Fifteen million out of a one billion dollar or seven hundred and something. One billion, one billion dollar budget. Fifteen million was put aside for Dominica and only 1.6 or 1.7 million dollars was used between 2022 and 2023 and you expect progress to happen when the very people in positions are the one causing it and anyway, brothers and sisters I'll leave the rest for you guys to watch right there and if it was not it to my thoughts well <laughs> there it is brothers and sisters of my thoughts he had some good statements right there true and I agree with most of what he's saying but to get there you need certain things to happen which he seems to be against or is publicly saying it to be politically correct? I don't know. But on the basis of you saying you don't want, you're not in electoral reform, really? And that is what is needed to head to the direction that you are speaking of. You think it's the people? You understand how people work? You understand that people need a leader for them to push forward? Brothers and sisters, one of the things, the number of persons were trying to tell me to go up for mayor and stuff in Portsmouth and, and, and so forth and so forth. Go up for mayor. It's a nice thing to probably add to my thing because I know most likely I would get the, the, the denomination as a result of people voting or whatever or at least being a representative, whatever it is. But I tell them, what is the sense it makes if I am, I watching the other mayors, they you know, when maybe other mayors trying to do things and nothing happening. What is the point? Me going to try to become mayor to try to do something and knowing that the people themselves do not want to do, even if it's their people, that's crazy. <laughs> There are people out there, you know. When they come to do certain things, much things doesn't happen. So, what is the point of becoming mayor when the people themselves don't want to work? So, yes, he has some arguments on the point of the people. But it must take the leader to come and push. And when the leaders are pushing and it's present to see the leaders are pushing and nothing happening. Oh, it is the people problem as well. Anyways, guys, what are your thoughts, man? Leave your thoughts. In the comment box below, guys, don't forget, don't forget to check out the previous reaction I did on the Mystics React channel, as well as the uh, BRBP TV one I did earlier on today, as well. Give this video a thumbs up, guys, and help the algorithm push your videos further and further out there. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that post notification so you can get all our videos as they tend to come through. I'll see you guys in the next reaction video.